to find items that we have here in the library or we can get for you here in the library, you'll start from the library homepage and scroll down to the link to the library catalog. This will bring you into Minerva, which is the catalog we share with about 60 other libraries throughout the state of Maine. You can select whether you're going to search just for things here on campus or if you'd like to have all of the locations included in the search. You can search by keyword, title, or author. Remember that that will be their last name, comma, first name. And there are also a lot of other options down below if you have some other specific information about the item that you're searching for. In this case, we could take a look for climate change and click Submit. This will look for items that include those words in the record of the item. It won't just be the title. And it will bring you to a number of different items that you could take a look at. Here's one that might be interesting for us. We can click the title and you'll be able to see a little bit more about what that item is, maybe what the contents is, the formal subjects that the item covers, the authors, and you'll also see exactly where it is here in the library. You can see that it's in the stacks, which is in the upstairs, the call number, which is the address on the spine of the book, and in this case, it's available, so you'd be able to come check out the book. You can also keep taking a look at the other items that pop up in the search. And if you're looking for other items that might be similar to an item that you see here, you can click the call number itself, and that will give you a full list of all of the call numbers in order so that you can see the other books that are on the shelf right around it. It's basically like browsing the stacks, but from home. There are a lot of ways that you can also adjust your search depending on what type of item you're searching for. So you can always go to Modify Search up at the top. You can look for some additional search terms here in the search bars. And you could adjust the type of item that you're looking for. Maybe you're looking for archival material, an audiobook, a CD, anything like that. Here we can also select Let's look for a DVD about climate change. Again, we'll submit, and then it will only bring me DVDs that we have here at MMA that deal with climate change in some way. You'll see that these locations are all on the DVD shelf here at MMA, and it will include the call number. So again, you can take a look to see if it's something uh, that you'd actually like to have. If we look for a title, then we can type in the specific title of an item and search that. Here you'll see that we have two items that have a pretty similar title, but different subtitles. Here I can click the far north, a Donald Macmillan lecture film. This was one that is all about uh, Donald Macmillan and his voyages on the schooner Bowdoin, which is pretty interesting. If I want more about him, then I could even click him as a subject, and this will bring me to all of the items, again, that we have here at MMA, that have him as a subject. So uh, this brings me to all the subjects that are around him. I can click through, and here we have four items specifically about Donald McMillan. You can see here that it's selected subject as the type of search that we're doing. That's because it is the specific formal subject heading for these items. You would not want to use subject just for a keyword search. For that, do just select keyword and it will search both the subject headings as well as the other information in the record. If we want something that's not at Maine Maritime, then we could select that we want it to be from any one of the Minerva locations and search that can see that we have 10 more items this way than we did originally. And you can click on the title. And if this is something that you'd like, it does actually turn out that we have it here on campus. So that's lucky. You can also go down and take a look at some of the other items. Some of these are library use only. They look like pretty historical pamphlets. You can take a look at another item, see if this is one that you'd like. And if it's something that we don't have here on campus, you can click Request and put in your name, first and last name, 
and your library barcode with the prefix MMA. So it will be MMA and then the nine digit barcode on the back of your ID. Once you click submit, it will let you know whether the request was successful. And once it arrives here on campus, you'll receive an automated email letting you know that you can pick it up here at the library. There are lots of items to find through Minerva, so definitely take a look, see if it's something that we have access to. And if you're having trouble finding anything, contact the library and we'll be happy to help.